you have completed the issue items tab and are ready to start entries in the received items tab. In this tab, you can view or modify the information related to line number, item number, item description, unit of measurement, alternate unit of measurement, quantity, alternate unit of measurement quantity, unit rate, value, tolerance percentage, bill of material ID, and checklist. Upon clicking copy to receipt, all issued items information is copied to the receipt items tab to enable tracking of these items at the time of receipt. You can change the receipt quantity against each item you receive. You can change the unit rate if required. You can enter forecasted tolerance percentage on quantity variance at the time of receipt. Select the checklist to be considered for inspection if this item is QC enabled through Item Master. To select a checklist, click the search icon. The pop-up appears. On the pop-up, select a template code for inspection. To select a template code, click the search icon. The pop-up appears. On the pop-up, select a template code. The template code name is automatically populated. Alternatively, if you know the template code, you can enter the same. Note that this template code must be present in the master. This checklist will be available for job work return transaction. You can add more items that are expected to return by clicking Add Row option. This completes all entries in Receipt Items tab. You can now post the job work issue document. You have now created a job work issue document.